new mental consequences and it all kicked off with a simple bit of rubbish. Heather had a lucky yoghurt pot lid that she'd taken from George Michael's bins. Do you think he nicked it? And Heather laminated it and put it like a necklace around her neck. Armed with this memento, the girls go on yet another night in search of a bloke. She found a man and he was absolutely gorgeous. You've got gorgeous eyes, do you know that? But all was not as it seemed. Charlie paid him! She set you up. She didn't think you could do it on your own. I'm sorry, Ev, it's all a lie. There was a few slaps. How could you do this to me? Heather runs off to the unisex lose. Oh, Ev! And then it turned out to be somebody genuinely chatting her up. You got my money? What do you mean? You're the... Escort, yeah. I don't believe this. Heather, she's having a little cry. <laughs> and suddenly, from nowhere... Under the toilet comes a yoghurt pot lid. It turns out that somebody was keen to comfort Heather that evening. Oh, I see where this is going. Yeah, I thought so. Those McClunky's kebabs, uh... Ah. So Hev was left alone with a new man in her life. So it's time to play Who's the Daddy? The violent recovering alcoholic, but who doesn't love a bad boy? The lovable softy who broke your heart. Time for a second chance, perhaps? The scrawny teenager, but you know what they say about the toy boys. Or the fellow lovable loser. Sounds like the perfect soulmate. George, this is your dad. Oh. Of all the people, it turns out to be Taryn Miller. <laughs>